Hey, here's a quick update video from my last video I did on the Covercraft Sunshade. Some of the viewers were asking about how I put them up with the dash cams that I have on my vehicle, if it gets in the way or if it doesn't. Now, I have two dash cams. One that's up here. It's right next to the four lane watch camera right here. You see where the dot matrix is? So I have it mounted here, okay? Near the dot matrix right here. Now the other one I have is up here is the Vantru R2 dash cam. This is the one that I'm testing because I'm doing comparison video as the day and nighttime videos are going. Um, I posted one yesterday. I'll be posting another one today for the daytime comparison videos. That's why I have two up front. Now this is taped. The mounting is taped to the windshield and so that's why it's staying on. It's taped with a, a 3M, I believe it's 3M VH, VHB tape. If you were to just use a suction cup mount on this thing, don't because a suction cup mount will not stick to this dot matrix. Now, I really don't need to remove this camera or this camera. I can leave them as is. Here's my sunshade right here. I'm going to fold it out and put it up. Now, if I leave that one there, I can't push this up all the way against the windshield because of course it's going to hit this so I just go like this and it will stay up as you can see again my Covercraft sunshade has a cutout right here in the middle because I have the forward collision warning camera up here now you have to choose the right model because there's one without the cutout and there's one with the cutout and so you have to let them know that whether you have this camera or not even though if you don't have the camera and you want the cutout, you have to tell them that you have the camera so they send you the correct one. Since I have the cutout, even though I have this big long Broadway mirror and the two dash cams up there, I can pretty much go ahead and put this up and then just make sure that it's held up by the visors. And I'll show you what it looks like up front. So there it is right there up front. Here's my Vantru R2 dash cam and here's my uh, B40 dash cam. Again, there's a cutout so it doesn't get in the way. While this one does, it's not, this position is not ideal because you don't want the sunlight to reflect off the sunshade and fry this camera. But although it is up where you see where the line is, and so it's not too bad, but I would remove this if possible. Okay, and I'll give you a further angle from the front. There it is. All right, hopefully this answers your question. Again, if I didn't have the other camera over there, the Vantro R2, with this on, the sunshade will be much closer to the, the windshield, and this doesn't get in the way with anything. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, please leave in the comments below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.